All right, so in life, we're never ready enough. We just gotta take that leap and grow and learn and have that massive and perfect action. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to door knock in real estate. All right, so come along with me on this journey. I'm actually gonna be live door knocking, door knocking and finding real estate leads. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, exactly what to say, and you're gonna see that there's no magic formula. You just gotta get out there and do the work. The first house I wholesaled, I went out and door knocked and left notes on doors just like I'm doing in this video, and that first deal led to a second within a couple weeks. So you're gonna have the same amount of success, but you gotta get out there and do the work. So come on, let's go. All right. So I'm on the way to this house to go door knock and I'm, I'm being strategic about it because I'm really trying to only door knock houses on the notice of default list. And there's ways to kind of narrow that notice of default list down too. I just pulled the, the, the broad notice of default list. I just pulled everything that got a notice of default because, you know, even if they cleared up that notice of default or got out of that, that foreclosure or that bankruptcy, a lot of times people get out of these situations and find themselves in another situation or another financial difficulty. So I'm driving to this house to go and door knock on it, but then I come across this one right here. Uh, if you notice here, the plants and the trees have pretty much grown around this house. And one indication is these people haven't cleaned this roof off in forever. It looks like there's somebody here, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and door knock this while I'm at it because you know, this could be a prime opportunity of someone looking to sell or they, they might have inherited the property. If you look here, like you could barely tell there's a house here. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably stick the phone in my pocket while I'm doing this um, because I don't wanna weird the, uh, the person out that's answering the door, but I'll go ahead and leave it um, playing so you can hear, hear what I say when I door knock this house. So I don't even know where the, how to find the door all kinds of leaves on the roof problems right there feeding the squirrels i guess you always want to step away from the door too just you don't want to weird anybody out hey i just wanted to see if the house was for sale by chance i'm gonna leave this little note all right, so I'm at the next house, so don't go ahead and door knock. One thing I wanna mention is I had already driven by that house once today and I missed it. Uh, I turned around because uh, I went the wrong direction uh, for this first house that I was gonna door knock. Uh, but I just wanna show you, like there's, you you miss things like that. So that note that I was talking about that I, I was leaving, it's just a, a plain Jane sticky note saying, you know, would you consider selling the house? If interested, call Brent. Here's my phone number. Now you can get these things professionally printed, but I, I highly recommend, you know, the look of, you know, handwritten or cursive. I like it, keep it simple, you know, but you're, if you're doing a lot of these, then you can just kind of stick them on, but but don't get away from actually knocking. That's one thing that, that most people are not willing to do is actually knock on the door and have the conversations. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk up to this house. Um, it's actually in a really nice area. Um, and that's what it is. It's like, it's usually, it's usually the houses in the super nice areas. And it actually looks like it might be, it might be vacant already looking through the windows. I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh, my sticky note that I forgot. It's better to do this with a hat too, because then your hair's not blowing all around. So I'm probably gonna stick my phone in my pocket um, while doing this or just not, not actually show that I'm filming because that kind of weirds people out. That's yeah, definitely vacant. Just, you can see in there. Hey, is the house for sale by chance? What is it? <laughs> I'm looking for more houses to, to renovate and flip in the area. You know, I bet I get six or seven calls a week people in the mail i mean what is it how do people even get my phone number that i want to sell my house well get people that i mean i don't understand why do i get so many calls yeah i think it's just because it's a it's a hot market everyone's looking for a house to buy well do you think that if i wanted to sell my house i wouldn't know how to do it 
Uh, you know, we buy a lot of houses from people that, that don't even list them well, on the market. This, this house has been totally renovated, so... Oh, it looks beautiful, actually. Well, no, I, I, sorry to waste your time. Well, I'm just kind of wondering why, yeah. I, why I get so many calls, and no matter how many times I tell people no, they call back. It's like, I said yeah. no the last time, That's why annoying. you call me back? Well, I won't call you back. <laughs> Have you. a great day, sir. All right, so there's the dilemma. You could say, hey, your house is on the notice of default list about six or eight months ago. But, you know, sometimes that's just that's just bringing up bad juju. And I didn't want to get into that. On just the door knock, the way the guy answered the door, literally, I pressed I pressed the, uh, the doorbell and the door swung open. And I was caught a little bit off guard because it looked kind of vacant from the inside. So... I don't know if he just hasn't moved in or what, or the previous owner might have had a notice of default. So you never know. Um, at the end of the day, if there's no interest in selling, you know, I try and move on as fast as possible. All right, so the next one on my list is also the house number 1175, which is really wild. The first one was 1175 31st Avenue. Now the second one is 1175. 20th Avenue. So I'm seeing something with these 1175s, but another thing I want to mention here is that guy that answered the phone said, I get calls, I get I get letters, but did he say that anybody else is knocking on his door? No, he did not say that because no one else is doing this. This is a free way, a free way to get real estate leads. Now, granted, is it taking me a little longer? Yes, it's way easier for me just to pay a cold collar or to sit from my the comfort of my beautiful home and you know do these cold calls. But hey, I'm getting out and enjoying the sunny weather. I've got air conditioner in the truck. And here's the thing, you know, no one else is knocking on the door. That's gonna be a, the, the thing that sets me apart from everyone else or my team. All right, so I'm at the second house and I see the whole entire street needs door knocked because these houses look a little rough. When you see like battery chargers and oil pans and all this oil and stuff and tires in the front yard, that's usually a pretty good indication. I buy a lot of houses with tires and oils in the front yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this first, first house. I'm gonna put you in my pocket for a minute. So they don't wanna answer the door, so I'm gonna leave my handy dandy note on the door. Let's see if they'll call me back. I actually noticed that they, they opened the window curtain, but I don't blame them. This day and age, no one's probably answering the doors because, you know, all this weird stuff going on. Oh yeah, perfect sign right there. Overflowing oil. Good sign, good sign. All right, let me go ahead and ring the doorbell. So, rookie mistake, let me go get my pen. All right, I'm walking back up to the house. This time I'm gonna actually knock on the door because I don't trust the doorbell. You know, sometimes these doorbells don't work. And then I did a little faster note this time. Wanna sell your house? If interested, call me, Brent's phone number. All right, let's see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and leave my notes inside the screen door. Hopefully they'll see it. Right there. And go to the next house. Hopefully oh, these guys answer the door and they want to sell. This is actually the one on the notice of default list. Another good sign when you see appliances out front. Eh, usually a pretty good sign that, you know, could be a little motivation. So I'm gonna write another quick note and then put it right on the door. I'll leave right here on the glass part so they can see it if they look out and uh, go to the next one. Again, was on the way to another notice of default house and I've driven by this one several times and it looks like they might be interested in uh, possibly selling. Hello. I don't know where the front door is at. Hey, hey, sorry, I know this is a little out of the blue. Just wondering if the house was for sale. No. Can I leave a, a little note just in case if someone, if it ever uh, comes for sale? Sure. Okay, I'll put it right here on the window. Thanks, sir. Let's we'll see if it'll stick. I think it's gonna fall off. Have a great day, man. All right, now I'm gonna go across the street because this one across the street looks kind of rough too. All right, let's see if this one's for sale right here. Looks like this actually 
a door I can knock on on this one. The old louver windows. Hey, sir, how are you? Yeah. Hey, really good. I know this is a little out of the blue. I was just wondering if the house was for sale by chance. Okay, can I can I leave a little note uh, just in case? I got some notes in here already. Okay. <laughs> well, have a great day, man. Right, okay. Take care. Next house. Let's go. Wish me luck. You know, it's just the law of averages. The more houses you do, the more conversations you have, the more homeowners you talk to, the more notes you leave, the more cards you leave, the more people you talk to every single day is going to increase your odds of buying a property at a massive discount. So let's go ahead and knock on this door and ring the doorbell. First, I'm going to just knock because I know that works. You know, not the best house. The reason why I think this is a great house is because the roof is like literally shot. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna last much longer. It's probably already leaking. As I'm standing here, I see another another house um, that I can definitely definitely go door knock as well while I'm here. All right, no answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little sticky on the window. Very passive way to do it. But hopefully they'll call me. You never know. It could be a tenant as well. But I want you to check out this roof as I'm walking away here. I think it's rough. Maybe they'll get another six or eight months in this Florida sun. All right, next house. Not too bad. Looks a little older. They still have Christmas decorations up, so that's a good sign. A lot of stuff on the porch, a lot of overgrownness, and cats. Looks like the avatar of a lot of properties we buy. I'm going to at this door. All right, so it doesn't appear to be anybody home, so I'm going to leave a little note. There's wasp nest. A lot of maintenance needed. I figure while I'm at it, I might as well hit the neighbors because it looks like it might be vacant. You know, the, the shed is empty and the fence is kind of broken. You know, not a ton of needed maintenance, but it uh, seems like a new roof. And we'll give it a try. What a wasp. You hear that knock? Sounds vacant. Oh, yeah. Good sign right there. No one's home, so I'm going to leave a note. But you also want to write these down to see if there's a forwarding address or maybe you could skip trace this house. Uh, basically skip tracing is just looking up the phone number and calling the owner and seeing. So a lot of times I'll check in the mailbox. Oh, vacant right there. Good indication right there. So the vacant house, add this to your vacant house list, mail, uh, hopefully the, and you want to use first class mail and hopefully that first class mail finds the owner. Another property that's been neglected quite a bit on maintenance. Just trying to find the front door. Looks like they spray painted their windows. Actually, it looks like the front of the house is right here. Right, let's see if we can get someone to answer. Wow, nice blinds. All right, it doesn't look like anybody's home, so I'll leave a note. The old house here but the car hasn't moved in a while it's like there's an electric on we're trespassing hello hello land's worth way more than the house Oh, hello. Hey, I uh, just wanted to see if the house was for sale by chance. Uh, the house you're, you're in right now. Okay, I, I'm going to leave my number on the door. If you want, just give me a call sometime. Thank you. I'm pulled over. It looks like they want to talk to me. Do you live over there? 
What you looking for, man? Oh, I thought you're you're uh, uh, waving at me. Um, is that is that your property right there? Where your truck is. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to block your your uh, driveway. What do you, what do you need, man? Uh, just looking to buy one of these houses. We buy houses and fix them up and sell them. You ain't selling it. I ain't selling. Okay. <laughs> Any chance you might be selling in the future? Nah, because you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to cough up no money. You want to cough up like fifty grand and all that other kind of stuff. You don't want to pay. Uh, you don't want it. You want it. You want it to be given to you. Any idea what she'd be? Right Oops, sorry. Her name Faye Brown. Uh, but where you got your truck at is connected to this. I'll, I'll move, um, get out of your way. Yeah, park on the north side. Okay, yeah. But, but she'll tell you to park over there. Okay. But Any idea what she'd be looking to get out of it? Look, this is like, this is my property. Okay, I went to prison and I gave it to my family. Okay. And now they ain't selling. They need my signature to sell. I'm uh, sorry, I didn't hear that last I part. See, they need my signature to sell. They yeah. can't sell it. That's and no I'm problem. not going to sell it. And I see, like I said before, you don't want to offer nothing. You want to offer pennies, man. You looking at it like they don't see the value in the place, okay? And they don't they don't know what it is. But we know. But you want to come in and want to be nice and you want to offer like forty, fifty thousand dollars to take off a hand, and then you turn around and flip it and then you sell it for like four or five hundred thousand dollars. Not you know, everybody wanna be slick. But I'm on to the game and she's on to the game. She might sell, but we ain't selling. Well one way I work is we actually uh talk hey, with it's about money, man. It's about money. If you got the right kind of money, everything will run smoothly. All that other stuff and banking and whatever and all that, it don't yeah. it, it don't fly. Yeah. If don't. you got the money, if you got the money, everything else will fall in place. But if you don't got the money, you got to go out and hustle for money. That you're wasting everybody's time. If you got the money, she talked about selling, but you know, but I don't know what she want. But the thing of it is. We over here and we ain't even thinking about it because we know we ain't gonna we ain't gonna give us what we want. Yeah, one way I work with with owners, we've done this in other areas, is if the county allows us to put more houses in here, we can actually pay more than what the houses were. Uh, so it's it's a longer process, but it it gets you a lot more money in your pocket. You know what, man? Let me tell you something. I had a nineteen who sold real estate, and what you just talking about. That game, they're like 40, 50 years old. Yeah, okay. yeah, it is. But you, but see, you, you you must be a newcomer and you must don't know about property and real estate and all that other kind of stuff. Okay. I tell you what, you can go over there and you can talk to her, but where the truck is, where the truck is, see, once you go over there, you see that where that no trespassing sign is? Mm -hmm. In yeah. front of that house over yeah, there yeah. by that palm tree? Yeah. Okay. That's that, where this one goes. That's where that goes, and it goes past that shit out there. Gotcha. Really past that car over there. Okay. But she might want to sell, but over here, we don't. Okay. Well, and I ain't, I ain't giving out no names or nothing like that, man. But, nah. But like I say, man, it's all about the money. And you want the, you want the land for nothing. So I'm a little confused. You, you're saying that it's not for sale, but then it's about the money. So which is it? Is it not for sale, or is it about the money? Because you haven't given me a price, but you told it say it's it's about the money well, here's but it's the not thing, for well, sale well, so what is it well, you're telling me what well, here's you think you here, know here's the thing over there so well okay, these folks around here right yeah they said exactly what i'm saying years ago they say we're not selling right uh, are so, you selling or not no, if, saying, if you're wasting they, my time they, right they, now the, the folks say they're not selling right but then the people came to them with a with a decent price right mm -hmm. and then that not for right, 150,000 Oh, man. <laughs> well, now that we're now that we're getting down to business, because no, the last no, five minutes we're just talking in circles, and you telling me I'm a newcomer. That ain't, that ain't even so. close. That ain't even close, man. All right. That well, what is it? Huh? One seventy-five. How many like acres close. you got? Why would I even want to buy this property? Five hundred. Five hundred. How many That's acres? That's the cheapest. Is it? Five hundred. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, like, how many acres is it? It goes all the way back. All the way back. All the way back. That all doesn't tell me anything. How many acres? It goes all the way back down to, more than that. It goes all the way back down to Citrus, man. So you got 10 acres? Plus homes and everything else down to Citrus. And you're the owner on record? No. 
I'm not. I told you. I just, didn't I just tell you? Yeah, I heard what I you're said. saying. I went to prison. So, I was going to prison, and I gave it to my family. So five hundred thousand for more than ten acres. I think that's a pretty good deal. I'll, I'll take it. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. That's just a little corner piece, man. You talking about five hundred thousand? Come on, man. I thought you was in the real estate. Just this little corner right here, man, is like, what, $5,000. You want to put a home here. Yeah, People no. want to put families. They want their children. They want they want to start a life or whatever. And you coming up with $100,000. No, I didn't say 100 I didn't say 100 You said 150 Yeah, and you said 500 and I said, okay. How many acres might have? get you this right here. Okay. Or even more, five, six. But the thing of it is, we ain't selling because the price ain't right. Okay. Okay, now you follow me? Yeah. Have a great day. Man. I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> but where you at, Bubba? Where you at? I'm letting you know. Don't get hurt. Because I'm telling you, you know, if, if she gives you permission over there and then you get hurt, it's not my responsibility. Thanks, brother. Interesting conversations. All right. Let's go back to the other person that came outside that might be interested in selling. We're going to go back and see what's going on. It's just me again. Hello? Hey ma'am, it's me again. I'm sorry, were you trying to talk to me? I apologize. I'm sorry. I can't hear you, I apologize. Sometimes you just gotta wait it out. All right, I couldn't hear what she was saying. I'm gonna take the hint. Hey man, is the house for sale? Yeah, no, that's all. Thank you. Get inside? Yeah. Thank you, brother. Hello? 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 Hey man. Hey, is that? Is the house for sale? It's going to be for sale soon, man. Okay, you know what? Yeah, man, absolutely. You want a number? Uh, yeah, 86. Here, you want to just leave your note? Or yeah. give 86. You want to you wanna buy the house? Yeah. Don't go there, man. What's that? This is the last one. Okay. Hey, I got a customer here in the store. He wants to buy a house in the three or here, two to six twenty. I'm gonna hang out with you in the phone. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Hello, this is Brent. Hey, good man. How are you? Just uh, wondering what you're asking for the house. I, I guess you guys are probably gonna fix it all up completely. Uh. Yeah, they're pressure washing. They're, they're doing a heck of a job here. It's uh, on 4th Street. Or 20th, 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 20th Street, sorry. Yeah. No, it's, it's not on the market. I don't think it is. All right, I got a chore for you. You got to put in the comment box how many doors you've knocked in the last week. And if you haven't knocked any doors, you got to hit that like button and subscribe. So whichever you want to do, you can go knock some doors or like and subscribe to my video. All right, so if you want to know what to say, uh, uh, like a general script of what to follow here, I'm going to give you a free gift today, and that is by going to thelandsharks.com forward slash door knocking script. It's on the screen. Again, that's thelandsharks.com forward slash door knocking script. It's yours for free. I'm going to ask for your name and your email. You can learn the script, internalize it, and then make it your own. And get out there and go knock some doors and also comment your goal of how many doors you'd like to knock this week.